Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about Notebook LM by Google. It's powered by Gemini and it's in its experimental version at the moment. So if you're interested in exploring Notebook LM with me, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this week I'm talking about Notebook LM and it's not available in all regions. I'm in Australia at the moment, so easy to access, but normally I'm based in Hong Kong, so I think I'd have to turn on my VPN to actually access this. But I just love the organization of notebooks. So let me just show you one of the folders I've created and why I would use Notebook LM. So I've got a folder here called AI News, and I've just got one website that I've added to that. It's the EdSurge website, but I could actually add other websites. So if you go to sources and add the plus sign, I could actually pop my book in from the Google Drive, any of my Google Docs or slides, any website or YouTube, or even any of my own work here. So I can see that there's a source limit here of 50. So I've already uploaded an Ed Surge and let's just have a look. I've created a note, but let me just go through how I did that. Okay, so once you click on Artificial Intelligence Ed Surge, that website, uh, one of the questions, default questions that came up how is AI being used in education to address current challenges and improve learning outcomes? And what I like about Notebook LM is that it will give us a summary of all of the articles from Ed Surge with the references. So if we click on these little numbers, it will tell you when the article was published. Actually, let me make myself smaller so that you can see and I'll move myself out of the way this way. You can actually see when the article was published, what it was called, and you can actually go to the Ed Surge and you can look for that article. So let's just close that window again. So I like how it's giving the references to each of the bullet points. And notice how it says at the bottom, Notebook LM may still sometimes give inaccurate responses. So you may want to confirm any facts independently. I would not even use that tentative language may, I would say, so you should always confirm the facts of any output of any large language model. Now, um, let's just go down and see. OK, so okay, I need to move myself out of the way again. So let's just go and see what are some of the challenges and opportunities AI presents for higher education. That was one of the default questions. So you can see along here, there's lots of different questions that come up that I could just press. So because I press this question, what specific concerns have writing centers expressed about the potential impact of AI on their role in higher education? Now it's given me a little summary of the concerns of writing centers with the references. OK, and I've just pressed another question here. What are the key concerns and opportunities associated with the use of artificial intelligence in education? All right, what everybody is talking about on social media is the ability to be able to create a podcast. So I've already created the podcast here because it takes a little while and I'm just going to let you listen just for a minute or so. Wait. Oh, absolutely. It's AI in education right now and we're diving into the latest from Ed Surge to see what's really going on. You've come to the right place to make sense of it all. We're talking about a huge E shift in the educational landscape. It's like educators are constantly hitting refresh. Yeah. One article, latest AI announcements mean another big adjustment for educators really drove that home for me. It really does feel that way, doesn't it? But then again, wasn't it like this when the internet first hit classrooms? That's a great comparison, actually. It's <sighs> true. And that comparison actually helps us understand. So to help us learn and distill information, I think converting these summaries into a podcast that sounds so natural will really enhance, I think, our learning and our understanding. I think podcasts and audiobooks have become so popular. And so I really see this as such a valuable tool for students as well as for teachers. OK, so I wanted to just quickly show you about um, saving your notes. So let's say I'm going to view my chat again and just go down and let's say uh, this question. How is being how is AI being used in education to address current challenges, and improve learning outcomes? It says the response here, I can actually save to a note. So I'm going to save that as a note. So I've already saved that as a note already. So let me just delete this one. It says delete notes. Okay, I'm just going to delete my notes, delete selected notes. And then let me go to my view chat again so that I can save another note. So maybe I want to save this note challenges and opportunities of AI in a 
in higher education. And I've got all the reference links here as well and the articles. So I'm going to save this note. Once you come across and you've already verified the information that the notebook LM has given you, I, then you can kind of save it in your folder. And I think it's just a wonderful way to organize like really important ideas, especially because the field of AI is changing so rapidly. I would say every single week there's a new announcement. Notebook LM was only released a few weeks ago based on when I've recorded this video. And so if we want to try to keep up to date with everything that's going on, I suggest creating a little notebook with your favorite websites where you get information about AI news and then putting them all in and then saving some of the key ideas that you want to file away. Okay, so that was a really brief look at Notebook LM. I think it's so fun. I think the podcast functionality is going to actually really give us that multimodal approach to learning where students and teachers can listen to a podcast. And I really do think it's going to enhance our learning experiences overall. So if you've tried Notebook LM, please let me know how you've tried it, what you like about it. Thank you so much for joining me this week, and I hope to see you next time.